Hi, I'm Jacob Bertram. And I'm Brianna Gilmore. Th Welcome back to BNC News. This is episode three. Homecoming sure was a fun week. Here's a video, quick video montage of Pet Fest. another new face in the secondary school this fall. Hi, I'm Kimberly Gravely. Um, I am the new para here in Painesville and I graduated from New London Spicer um, in 04. I live um, by Green Lake and I am married. I have three children. What brought me to Painesville was um, Mrs. Hagen. She is my sister-in-law. Um, she kind of got me into subbing last year and I loved it. And all the kids here are amazing. The school is amazing. Um, it's just a really good place to be. Uh, I really enjoy coming every day. And what I like to do on my free time is hang out with my family and just take every moment as a blessing. On Saturday, September 23rd, the Painesville Area Community Foundation held their annual gala event. This year, recipients was Painesville Area High Schools. Here's Ms. Flora with more news. The gala was a fundraiser that the intent was to raise money for our career technical and education programs and we were very grateful for the generosity of everyone that was involved with the event. We raised about uh, $70,000 as part of a fund me that will go directly towards equipment and programming in the school in the next year and then we also received a generous uh, endowment that was about $600,000 that will remain open and hopefully eventually reach that million dollar mark that will help to continue to fund our career and technical education programs. My vision as an uh, administrator here in Painesville for our career and technical education program is to partner with as many businesses in our community as we can, start to have teachers work with businesses on the skills that they would like to see on the workplace and continue to improve our programs so that there can be a transfer of skills that they learn here at Painesville High School to what they'll be using uh, at the workplace or in different industry settings. I would really like to thank all our community members, the foundation, our students, as well as our faculty for just having such a great event and showing that the education of our students is the highest priority for all of us. Thank you again. Mrs. Uch has a new food science class and we caught them during a lab last Friday. Uh, we are in the egg foods chemistry class and what they're doing right now is they're making spaghetti sauce and canning it. So it simmered for a couple of hours yesterday and then now today they're canning. Um, so in this lab we are making spaghetti sauce and then uh, next week we're going to be making homemade noodles. 
which I think is a really uh, cool experience because we didn't get to make like um, stuff so at home. So like I get to like see how to can spaghetti sauce and salsa, which we did last week. And I think this is a really fun class. You know what you're doing. So in here we like took all the skins off the tomatoes and we like grinded them all up in like this thing. And at my house we just put everything all in a pot and blew it all together. So it was kind of a new experience living new ways and different ways to do the things I already knew how to do. What we're doing is looking kind of at the practicality of homemade, homemade making and buying stuff in the store. And with the salsa last week, they tried all their different salsas and then they also tried store-bought. They had like a blind taste test and they had to figure out which one was the store sauce, which one was each other's sauce, and then they had to evaluate them. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of different labs throughout the year or through the semester, and then we're going to be tying in the chemistry standards as well that, as they correlate with the units. Here is Mr. Grace with this episode's tech update. So what I'm showing you today is the 3D printers. So what we have here is a program called Thingiverse on the right screen. And so what happens here is uh, there's already blueprints on the computer. So we have models, we have different tools, we have toys and games, hobbies, gadgets. So if I just click on something like tools, when I'm in tools, there's all sorts of prints that are already available. And so if I just scroll down, you can see a whole bunch of different hot glue gun holders, um, just a whole bunch of different things. Prosthetic hand terminal uh, for making prosthetic hands. So if you can think of it, there's probably already a blueprint for it. So then once we pick our blueprint, which we have one on the left screen here, this is a um, Sphero robot chariot that we used at the homecoming um, assembly. And so we have to print another one of them. So we put it in this program. From there, we select our printer, and then we start the print, and the camera will pop up, and it'll show uh, the 3D printers. So we hit start print, just like a normal printer. Once we do that, it just prints like anything else would, uh, and then we'll, we'll go over there and we'll check out what the 3D printers show us. So as you can see, here's our 3D printers, and so the left one is printing a whistle currently, and that one will take about seven more minutes to finish printing. And then the right one is where we hit print and that's gonna make the chariot. And so that one's just starting to heat up the extruder. And then once it heats up the extruder, it'll start to print. So if Matt zooms in on this one, uh, he can see the individual layers that are slowly printing. So it just builds layer after layer. And so we have some materials that we already printed. Here's what that chariot end result will look like. And so we have that here. Here's the one that we get from the company. These are about $30. Here's the one we printed. It's about $3 worth of plastic. Uh, and we like this model actually better than what the company designed. Uh, we have a bracelet. So we have a stretch bracelet. So I know you can't see, but it prints in individual layers. And so there's about 50 layers on this. So it just slowly builds up uh, layer after layer until it's complete and finishes. This takes about 30 minutes to make. It's about 47 cents of plastic. Uh, we have a chain link. So the way the chain link works, it prints it with a really thin latency in between the two links. And so as soon as it's done printing, then you just kind of twist it and it snaps that latency that's in between. And then you have an interlocked chain link. So that's what the chain is. Uh, this we needed a, a screwdriver holder for our tech interns when they're working on the Chromebooks. And so we printed a screwdriver holder. And so this blueprint was already made and then we just added the star in the Bulldog Tech logo. Uh, our interns also needed a spot to store screws. And so that's what this is. It's just a screw holder so when they take it apart they have a whole bunch of compartments for all the different size screws when they're replacing batteries and whatnot on the Chromebooks. Uh, so in, in classes, basically a, a big thing is just the design process. So a student learning how to design whatever it is. And then in AutoCAD, they can make that design and then right away they can print that design and see what it turns out to look like. Uh, so that's a big part is just learning the design process. Uh, not so much what you're going to get from that, uh, but just like building anything, they can see the whole process that's behind building that. Uh, they can make a prototype of that. So if you think about a, a car company, they're able to print just a plastic version of whatever it is. They can see it before they put millions of dollars into the equipment, the assembly line, to actually mass produce a product. And now for some elementary school news. On September 23rd, the Painesville Area Community Education Mini Theater presented their two plays. The first play, 
was Double Play, written by our very own Mrs. Words. The second play was Hoka Poka. Er, my darlings, I have a surprise for you. Your father will be directing this summer's musical. Again! And guess who will be starring in it? Again! Okay, okay, okay. Fred, FedEx, and UPS are combining delivery services next year. So you can call them when you're fed up! Wednesday <laughs> <laughs> and Friday, on Sundays we rest. Our gloves and mats and hit the gym! Who's with me? Yeah, yeah go, go team! team! Fun with this, you look so much alike. Now you can switch places and no one will ever know what that means. We'll see you later, Cat. Bye, Anna. We could switch places. And no one would ever know. That is how the softball loving actor and the theater loving actor showed everyone that things are not always as they seem. In this double play, we learned that some things are even better. You're a good detective. Once you find the person who cast the spell, make her break it. And how do you do that? Well, if we know who cast the spell, then they'll be in danger of being turned in. Just be careful. Wait, which way do I go? Just follow the brown brick road. Follow the brown brick road? Follow the brown brick road. Don't name it. Then you'll want to feed it. <laughs> you two look tasty. What? I never. Everyone knows me before. I'm way better looking than he is. Ow! Tell us what you know, or. Or what? Oh no! She won it! Poka Poka! Fairy Godmother, it's so good to see you. Oh, hello there. Oh yes, you're shoeless to me, aren't you? Is that what the fairies call me? A phrase so. So what do you think we're doing with the prince? She made me do it! And who are you? What you have done? It was a hard shell to crap. But I managed to scramble up enough evidence to poach me some crooks. Couldn't help yourself, could you? Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your week. Stay cool, Painsville, and go Bulldogs. Bye. Oh, oh, yeah. You go. What are we <laughs> Okay, I'll say it, but I just want to see. I will say I'm Jacob Bertram then. You may have noticed another few phase. Oh, 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 yeah. another new. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs>